All right, guys. Uh, welcome to episode nine. Um, so, yeah, just going to uh, just going to get into this and keep working on the um, on this uh, scene that we've uh, got going on here. So, um, yeah, so this should be pretty fun. So, I think um, I think today what I'm going to try and work on is uh, just making more of the kind of like a uh, city. Uh, components that I kind of need for you know to really kind of flesh this out so I guess if you think about all these cubes that I started sort of adding into this um to this particle system it'd be really cool to just start uh, adding in some more medieval little town village kind of buildings and stuff right and getting and getting some of that kind of, uh, stuff kind of sorted out so um, So I was looking up, um, you know, just some little references and things like the old, you know, little Game of Thrones town, you know, the Brovnik kind of stuff. So I guess it's kind of like, yeah, trying to get, um, let's you open up other stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, trying to get some of this sort of vibe going on in, into some of the uh, city buildings and things like that, right? So yeah, this, this kind of stuff. And maybe even some of this like boats and bits of other areas of, of uh, you know land and things like that all of that kind of stuff so working on you know more of the details and things so yes I'm, I'm going to work on work on that today try and get that all happening so um, let's bring up other windows sorry about that yeah so this is all heading in the right, right direction also want to maybe you know bring some of this stuff back in as well um, try and get um, you know some of these things happening um and and we'll see how that goes as well got some ideas for how we can do that as well that's like a more um kind of efficient way of doing things um hopefully so yeah we'll just yeah once again to see how that goes but um just start off by designing some of these things so uh, once again i'm just going to do like really simple stuff and um in terms of what i'm thinking about so always want to keep these things like really really simple for you guys um you know just so you can follow along and yeah and, and work on things <laughs> Oops, this is being sort of weird have some weird setup plugged a new tablet in today not a new tablet just a different one um, yeah so I'm just thinking you know we've got it's just like real simple it's just kind of like post note sketches just to be like you know what what are these kind of places what do they kind of look like I think this is some sort of some sort of like different maybe a wooden texture or something up the top something here uh, there's some like little pillar things so I'm just sort of thinking about a few things just to break it up a touch and then maybe we can have Maybe in here we've got, you know, like some, these have a couple of windowy, windowy bits, <laughs> you know, like that type of thing. And there could be like a couple of those. Those buildings. You know, that type of thing. Not even like super worried about the exact nature of this stuff because we're just going to bring this into 3D and these are going to be really small. But yeah, just some just some real little quick notes. I mean, you know, super basic. Probably don't even need like front doors and you know, things like that either. Uh, it might be good just to have like some sort of like lower kind of. Um, walkway you know kind of step thingies yeah I don't know, do I even probably don't even need to be that creative with the kind of pattern it's just this type of thing sort of like pylons different breakup shape uh, there's a lot of time even when I'm if I'm doing this for myself like I probably don't even 
you know, you can just build some of these components in 3D, you know, straight away without sort of, you know, making up too much stuff. But, um, but it's good to have like just a little sort of most like a little library of things you want to do. Because when I get into 3D, I find that like, it, you know, it takes, it, it's a bit harder to kind of think of, you know, those little bits that you need. Sort of just drawing these out really quick, you know, is, is, uh, is an easier thing to do. Easier, faster. Yeah, it's like these little, and we can add some of that stuff into the other bits. Let's drag these, there we go. You know, maybe I can add some of that into here as well. Maybe this things have broken up a bit. I don't know. Some of like that. Maybe this is that wooden part thing down here, which is kind of like over here. All right, we can do all that with the with the texture and stuff. Uh, Little buildings, little buildings. What else? Might just get like a. Just looking at those references and things. Uh, maybe they do. Maybe they've got like some little chimneys. You know, that kind of thing. Could be kind of cool. Windows ink stuff. Oh, it's so annoying, isn't it? <laughs> it's always forever changing and being annoying. <laughs> and maybe like another thing that I could do is some sort of like little archway component, which could be kind of cool. Like a nice little thing that we can use to, you know, connect, um, just connect bits together. And I was, because I was thinking like, I'd really like to get some more kind of like height. into some of the areas. So this is a way of maybe doing that. We can use like the components that I've already got in some of those elements and you know just combining just combining combining things together. Oh man, I had a busy day today. <laughs> Been doing lots of stuff. Brain. Brain is mush already. Haven't even been doing the stream yet. <laughs> and brain is mush. That's not good. <laughs> uh, oh, like always, the more you do this, the more complicated <laughs> you can't start being. Because uh, the thing is like, you guys have seen how small some of this stuff is. Although it does show up, like it's pretty clear, right? Like even that um, that that uh, component at the front um, that I had. Anyway, we can just we'll just make this good in three D. <laughs> make them even. <laughs> what I could do is like just grab this half, just because you know you never want to be lazy. Let's flip this over. Like, let's not make that end look horrible. Let's actually grab it and flip it. <laughs> in the middle. Oops, just need it. Oh, there we go. Then that's even. Sweet. All good. All right. That was, I think this is getting pretty close to like the components that we need. Just just some of these little bits. Mm. Maybe I might just want to do like one other little house. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's sort of like a fun, kind of skinny, really like skinny guy. Skinny tall one. You know, it's got a slightly different proportion or something than the other one. Yeah, and I can mess around. Mess around with these. 
bits and pieces. Uh, maybe this one doesn't even need windows or anything, but maybe it's got some sort of like maybe this one. What we could do is like <laughs> as, as I do more stuff, I'm like, oh, more ideas, more ideas. Let's do. Why are we working? Oops. Uh oh, what happened? Lag. That's not fun. So yeah, I'll just do this quick so we're out of <laughs> out of line drawing Photoshop world. Great. Pretty exciting. <laughs> but maybe you know like some chimney sort of pieces like this that that fit on the sides of these buildings. Yep, yeah, something like that. And we've got some patterns. Uh maybe this one is like that wood pieces and we'll do some like UV texture you know that that type of stuff this one does that do, do. it's like goes like that goes like that let's put this in the middle pop, 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 something like that right let's flip this around flip horizontal So get the idea. So just really quickly trying to make some other little pieces up here um, so that we can, you know, we've got some more some more bits to kind of deal with, um, which I think will be really cool because then we can we can probably use these on the particle system as well, which is gonna be is gonna be super fun, but we're gonna have to <laughs> just build them a bit a bit kind of low res. So if we go to Blender, you know, this is still kind of be rendering in the in the background. You know, it's come along, it's still looking a bit, you know, kind of crappy in areas but I think as we push this feather look better I think that some some notes like these are things to kind of think about is that um, I probably need to break up um, it w might be nice you know where I've got uh, kind of some of these pieces popping out from the kind of concrete walls maybe they could be like wooden textures just to break up um, those those tones a little bit um, you know this is all like the the kind of like how it's going together is good but we need to work on that and i think i want to bring in some more of that flavor from the original one and then i wanted to kind of add some archways and things really get that medieval feeling and try and connect some of these pieces together um but by that i mean like you know how do the, how do the people walk around where they go what stairs do they go up you know all that kind of stuff just make it all feel kind of functional um i still want to fix up some of these bits that we did kind of earlier um, in 3d coat to sort of remodel those guys make them you know nice low poly so the scenes nice and easy to manage and another thing that i really kind of want to play with is probably the scale of the textures so if you can see here like you know the, these these bricks in here they feel like gigantic so um so i probably want to work on some of that stuff as well and like I said, if we've got any new people joining, um, we're throwing up these videos on YouTube. Um, they're on the Twitch channel, all of those things. So yeah, please, please check out all those options um, as as much as you can. And if you got any questions and stuff, um, yeah, let me know and uh, I can answer questions. But without further ado, let's just um, load up the castle parts. I think that was where we were at. Yeah, here we go. This was these little bits here. Um, bu 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 bu. I, now, let me just see what's going on. Let's grab all these. Um, cube. Let's grab all these guys. Let's right click on them. Move to a collection. A uh, new collection. Um, Egypt building one so the whole the whole point of this exercise is making um, something that's a mix of medieval and Egyptian right that's the that's the brief so playing that and then started with uh, with thumbnails and then you know really trying to you know bring this into blender and and make something you know as cool as possible so um, now I've got this here I can hide I'm gonna hide that hide that guy I got a plane What's all this other stuff? Oh yeah, go to these other little buildings that we kind of were working on. This guy here, that's fine, we just hide him. Um, let's just call this Egypt building. 
one, building one, merged. Yeah, because I just put that all into one group, so I had that there. And then we've got all these other little castle parts. Um, I might just select these guys, right click and move to collection. Sorry, just organizing this. Oops, right click, move to collection, new collection, um, castle parts <laughs> one. <laughs> Cool. All right, just so we can, you know, kind of like control those layers a bit, um, just like in in Photoshop. Same thing. So, yep, and then that. Yep, yep, yep. Custom parts. Hide that. All right, and let's just start. Uh, let me bring up Photoshop here, and I want to just copy these amazing amazing drawings I did <laughs> it's just really quick ideas right um, into a new little window and let's just chuck that window over here all right I've got that in a in a nice spot there all right and let's go back into blender and yeah just try and move through like each week you know sort of gets a bit more complicated move through things a little bit faster and stuff so yeah kind of doing all that uh, all right like I said, if you've got any questions about like, you know, what I'm doing process wise and stuff, you know, one got those previous videos, but yeah, if you do have any questions, just let me know and we can, we can answer them. <laughs> uh, Shift A, mesh cube. Yes. All right. Let's make that a bit bigger and move it up, beam up into just near near the ground <laughs> all right so that is a pretty good start there and I also want to do shift a mesh actually no let's not do that let's just duplicate this one shift D escape smooth that up it's gonna be the roof uh, it's gonna make it a little bit well oh, not like that <laughs> let's make it a little bit bigger I'm always sort of getting used to those light blender controls like where you gotta you know if you want to scale things it's just gonna be off the model a bit and then it gives you more control over the scale um, all right now where do I have yep cool we're this way and then I want to uh, let's actually go in here because I've kind of got that in the right spot at the bottom let's go into tab and just select this face and just move that down all right and then I want to just ooh, yeah, let's do a bit of a bit of that, and then uh, let's just push this guy in a bit more. Cool. Let's get that shape. Oh. All right. Let's go. Uh, control R, and just add a. Let's go. No, let's undo. Undo control R and then I'm going to use the middle mouse scroll wheel and basically that'll add in like an extra edge loop and add it nicely in the middle there for me and then we can just kind of edit some things. E. Cool. So I can do a bit of that. And we're going to um, let's just throw in the chimney on here, right? Control R. I could also like kind of use the oops, oops, oops. I could also use the uh, knife tool to just chop out where we kind of want this to go but maybe we'll save that for some other stuff um, sorry that you can click three and that will change between edge and vertices and yep uh, e. so what we want E and then E again and then S and look at my reference yeah and then E cool and then um, E S E <laughs> just making that little little chimney shape there all right should we just um i'll show you the the like knife thing quickly which i don't actually think i showed you guys in this class did i uh, 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 uh that's what we want 
Uh, this guy here. All right, let's do a bit of uh, let's do a bit of cutting. <laughs> this is probably like not good 3D modeling, <laughs> but good for concept. <laughs> um, so what you could do is like yeah, bring up K, hit the knife tool, and we can just try and make a nice little square on here. Um, and like it's not even quite right but you can do probably for this right this is probably like a dumb way of doing things because there's so many other better ways I could just add in a new let's do this a better way <laughs> but if you're cutting out some sort of like um, organic shape I did a pizza shop recently for one of my cyberpunk city things I'm working on and um, yeah I just traced around the pizza right and then extruded out that whole text box which you can do with that so that's like a really cool way that you can kind of do that um, yeah so uh, but however <laughs> let's not do that because it's like janky and we want to have this to be an actual uh, you know cube <laughs> let's just I'm gonna shift right click there so put my cursor there and then go shift a mesh uh, cube and that's gonna bring in a cube like right on that like point you know where I where I clicked so that's really good and then we can just move this around and that's like a better way of doing it and we can you know scale this and stuff right and then I can like shift D escape and now I've got like that guy there so yeah there's heaps of different ways of kind of like yeah modeling stuff getting things into your scenes and whatnot um, we need to make sure this is L here L <laughs> need to make sure that's like not cutting through the other bit all right sweet L. oh hang on L. yep okay <laughs> oh, I could just the other way you can like you know shrink it down once you kind of have got it where you want it is just grab that top face and just then it won't move the bottom right that's like a kind of better way of doing that um sweet okay little medieval buildings uh come along what else do we want to do want to play around uh this bit's gonna be wood maybe we can fake it <laughs> fake it until we make it right <laughs> tab uh control r uh yeah yeah mm, we'll do that we'll just project some wood texture on there I think that'd be pretty cool and then what we might do is just control r and <laughs> you can tell i'm learning more blender stuff hey i'm getting all the getting better at all these little shortcutty bits and bobs all right and we just want this guy and this guy and let's just extrude those guys out oh do what yeah you know what you know what you know what now we're getting into this i probably want to do this on both sides because if i do use the particle system it's going to rotate stuff around and things like that right so we want to kind of yeah make them so it's nice from each side so just go alt e extrude faces along normals and then they'll let me yeah oh <laughs> i hate that where it's like oh uh, uh whatever yeah uh fail <laughs> oops within that that little one undo undo all right have my cursor over here a little bit more alt e Street face long normals, and then it will let me move it out. One more. Yeah, right. Let's go there. And then what I want to do is, yeah, just select these guys here. Um, let's get edge. Just select those. Select those. I'm just going to move them in, so they're kind of like there. Profile select all of them. It will do it like sort of uniformly, but you know, whatever. It's, that is fine. What else we got? Uh, let's maybe do that on here as well, just so it's kind of got a bit of shape on the other side. So control, uh, control, uh, that one. Oops. Why are you doing that? No. Uh, undo. Control R, and then I need to use middle mouse scrolly wheel. There we go. Whoa. See escape. There you go. Those ones are in there. Sweet. 
Let's go back to here and select those guys and those guys and Alt, Alt E, extrude along normal. It, it, yeah, let's make them like that. And select these top bases. Move in. Mm, I reckon if I go S, right, it'll, yeah. yeah. All right, I'll do that. So excited. Simple things. <laughs> All right, cool. But that's coming along. Looking not too bad for what we want. Cool. All right, now I just want to, um, you know, what was the front? It was like this, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, so now I just want to model up these little window bits. So shift right click on here, shift A, mesh cube. All right. Uh, yeah, something like that. Let's just transform that around. Size of the window. Let's have that sitting out only a tiny bit. Let's like move it around. Got to get two of these bad boys in there. So just make sure they're gonna gonna fit. And I'll maybe do like one on the front as well. Yeah, all right. I think that's pretty good. Um, let's just shift D, escape, move this guy up. Kind of do the same thing that we did on the other roofs, just scale out, touch, so you get like a bit of that overlap. You know, decide on how much overlap you want. <laughs> Uh, then I'm gonna come into edit mode, grab the top face. Oh, it three top face. Yep, cool. Move that down. Uh, S. <laughs> to desired result. <laughs> right there we go. We'll tab. Then we can. Yeah. You know what else? Like if you're sort of a bit sick of the, you know, looking at this at the uh, gray at the you know light kind of color white it's basically white um, you can just change the colors around a bit so just make that one dark and I'm gonna throw you know these ones are gonna be those sort of orangey ready roofs you know in that one we just zoop, uh, that one first shift click that one control L materials all right Dup. that one then that one control L Shift click materials. <laughs> I can fix this up later. All right, I'll show you guys how to fix that. But yeah, you get the idea. Um, let's do some window frames quickly on this, and we can, you know, we just do this really simply. So that's all we, that's all we need to do. Control R. All right, Control R. Over there, Control R. That one over there, control R. This one down here. Yay. Alright, let's um mm, 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 mm. what do I wanna do? Let's split this up a little bit. Let's go oh, do we even need to? I was gonna put like glass and stuff. There's no need. <laughs> it's just gonna be little little dots. Um just get too excited. <laughs> too excited. E e e. All right, so make sure nothing's cutting through or doing something like funky. And then um, we want to do, let's go. I want to add a little window sill kind of bit. Um, all right, let's just click on this. Go H. Grab this guy here. Tab. Just select these guys. Select these guys. Um, and let's go E S. All right, and then E. Yeah, cool. Tab. So we just extruded, hit E, and then S for scale, like directly after, and then that'll let you scale that, you know, kind of edge outwards without it being angled, which is kind of cool. Um, uh, Alt H, bring everything back. So there we go, got that. And you know, that's pretty cool. 
for that bit. So we're just going to grab these and shift. Uh, you know what I might do is like Alt D, Alt D, so that when I texture these up, hopefully um, these will all, you know, kind of uh, they'll all do their thing. <laughs> uh, and then you know what? Let's like undo that. To like let's undo. Let's grab this guy here and go Control J, merge that together, then Alt D and escape. Move across. Get it in the right kind of spot. Then we got those guys, and then grab both of them. Shift D, escape. Move them over. Let's get up the top just so we can kind of get those measurements as best as possible. Oh. Let's check. If that's all right, yep, cool. All right, and also, like, I need to rotate these around. <laughs> all right, rotate. We could like mirror them as well, I guess, but uh, we'll just rotate. Hold down Shift, and then it will give you a more accurate little rotation. Just looking at the number up the top, and you know what? That's they're not gonna they're not going to matter if they're two mils out or whatever. Um, yeah, so I need to move them out a bit. You can see how that was sort of cutting off. Yeah, cool. All right, that's pretty close. All right, let's grab this one here and Alt D, escape. And let's this guy here and just move this one and rotate. You know, kind of 90. It doesn't even really need to be that close because you know we can have a little bit of variation in these elements. Um, it's in there somewhere. Cool. Yeah. So like I said, just keeping these guys really simple. Um, Shift E, escape. Yep. It's around there. It's rotate. Can because we're in the top view, you can hit R and it will just rotate around as well. All right, pretty good. Yeah, cool. All right, so those were just sort of, you know, see that there, little modular buildings that we can kind of put together and I'll um, kind of texture these guys up. But I think in terms of like just the really quick, dirty model, like that'll, that'll do for now, right? So um, let's work on um, another building here. Um, just that one that's, uh, like I said, I sort of want to try and get through these pretty, pretty quick. As quick as I can. <laughs> But like what's going to be absolutely awesome is that we can throw them into this like particle system, right? And then we can, yeah, make make the cities. Might make it a little bit skinnier through here. Something like that, and then shift, shift D, duplicate, escape. Let's move this guy up. All right, same thing. Hit S. Make it a bit bigger. Come in here, tab. Click the top one, S. Drag that in. Yeah, sort of like work out what you want to. You know, is it? How does it? How does it work? You know, is it that skinny or is it? You know, is it a little point at the top, or what do you want to do? You know what I mean? So yeah, we're, we're gonna have those guys like that, I think. Tuck him in a little bit. It's cool. Yeah, so it's more of this, more of this kind of shape, taller kind of shape. Um, let's go. What do I want to do? This one, really simple. We're just gonna have this really simple here. Control Tab Tab. Um, Control R. Now the, the reason why I'm adding in this edge loop here is not for any modeling stuff but just actually texturing later. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to split this up with like wood and stone. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I'll show you guys how to do that in a, in a minute. Um, all right, let's go, let's grab these guys. Why is that not, oh it is, okay. Uh, Alt D, because you're going to be the same everywhere. 
fingers crossed <laughs> we hope just gonna get that so you don't see the building through it that makes sense guys like that yep cool all right let's just make sure it's kind of roughly in the middle um alt d alt d escape so let's move that guy over there and just rotate 180 hold down shift then it'll let you just move that more accurately 179.99.99 we're <laughs> that's close let's move that in a bit cool i think that one was just slightly further in a tiny bit yeah cool all right uh just click that one click this top bit <laughs> aka roof <laughs> top bit uh materials duplicate that duplicate materials all right go cool. go got some amazing buildings but yeah i mean you can see where this is kind of heading direction you can even you can even put this in amazing ev mode is that even what it's in I should probably just check i guess it is because we're not we're not doing we're not cycling <laughs> but you know like they're, they're already looking they're looking pretty cool just for really quick little guys um all right let's do this little let's do this other bit let's grab this guy shift d escape let's do this little walkway plankway bit all right Oh, it's not touching the ground. What did I do? Let's move that in a weird way then anyway, didn't I? Whoops. All right, let's grab this guy. Yeah, he's going to be like that. He, she, maybe. <laughs> Block. Um, all right, pretty easy this one. Let's go tab, uh, control, control R. Just want to add another one of you guys in. Where do we want to do it? Yeah, okay. let's just put it in there and then what I want to do here is it like extrude out some parts so control R uh, yeah and, and bring up this one and then doop, 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 doop. a few more a few more and to whoa let's get till we get to that where it's working hit three on my keyboard all right we can select these we could select them all and do a check and deselect probably as well um yeah boop, 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 boop. sweet uh oh a oh a street faces long normals straight Ooh. yep and let's grab the tops One, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And then we hit S. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> uh, let's just do it like that. Let's transform them in that way. Yeah, that's better. S is like pulling him into the center. Ah, oh, fail. <laughs> Three on the tap on the keyboard. Just go Alt click to get this one. Then I hit um, no. Let's go uh, Alt Alt E. Extrude faces long normals. And ooh, yep. It's a tiny bit. That's cool. Six out there. Let's have a look. Yep. No. All good. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. More pieces. Let's just do one of those. Just need a bit of a slightly higher piece. <laughs> slightly different. Shift D. Escape. Move. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I got to get more into like box cutter and stuff like that as well. And there's that 
decal machine thingy majingy <laughs> want to do that too i was um yeah i was working on like a i was showing some of the students this the other day i was working on like a spaceship thing um oh hang on cancel <laughs> let's save Maybe we can do it like this we can have all these things open I'm sure it'll be fine but it's working on this like spaceship little guy it's yeah now i'm getting into like because i'm learning like more stuff i'm like oh now i want to do this and that and change it and you know do other things and do it differently but yeah it's basically like it's literally just all the same tools right yeah just making parts and rotating them around and extruding them and yeah cut them off and doing whatever else yeah i think now i'd probably like for some of these like engine parts and stuff up here i'd kind of um i might even find like references for like kind of what i want um and then even like kind of yeah model it using the the uv texturing sort of technique that i showed you guys um yeah and doing stuff like that but yeah i want to do like a i want to do like a uh, um, yeah it's still not finished <laughs> but i want to do a um like hanger that this guy can see in. i hate these front bits at the moment because i sort of did them right at the start i'm like oh i need to make them different anyway <laughs> moving along but um yeah certainly yeah just sort of yeah subdividing extruding yeah just simple really simple modeling stuff but you can get stuff looking you know pretty nice and complicated which is which is very cool for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing it's <laughs> it's, it's coming in the good direction so yeah all right um let's get back to this stop getting sidetracked so i don't have to do work <laughs> all right so let's break this guy up control r let's do it this way all right and like yeah so on thursdays doing like the other another stream like the art show so this week we've got tim and we're going to do like some compositional kind of stuff um in that art show so that should be pretty fun and um yeah and then i'm going to um we're going to get some other guests on and stuff as well so hopefully we'll have a few little surprises um yeah we'll get some people on and talk about yeah just just uh, get people to show you know their process what they're doing all that kind of stuff should be pretty cool um all right let's what do we want to do here uh it's an easier way of doing this um let's go shift a cube uh, move move over here uh now what am i doing here actually this kind of is smaller oh we'll have to try and get craig mullins hey eh? it sounds like that's a challenge <laughs> yeah we said we, we're gonna get some cool people we're gonna try Uh, let's bring you down, 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 down. <laughs> Cody, what are you doing? We'll get Corey Foreman in here for a chat, I think. That's what we need to do. He's one of our past students. <laughs> um... All right, let's make up some little shapes here. Mesh cube. Once again, you know, probably, probably getting too detailed, but you know, whatever. We can do this, I think. <laughs> uh, Alt D. Uh, there's actually like a 
you can kind of do the uh, uh I was going to show you a way to like sort of multiple do kind of like multiple duplications in the same anyway whatever just let's just do it like this <laughs> there's hardly anything to do so we're all good those guys D, escape. Let's just go control M and X mirror. Click. Put these guys over here. Sweet. All right, and then we can break this up with some material. Okay, pretty cool. Um, what else I want to do? Um, can we get a bit? We can get a little bit fancy with stuff here, maybe. Uh, do a little edge loop along here. Draw uh, R. Uh, right and what else do we want let's just do a control uh, mm, sort of in the middle and one last one just down here Oh, I need to do one up here too. Otherwise, this might look a bit weird. Let's put it up like there. All right. Uh, three. Okay. Select these guys and extrude out. And this can be sort of like wood, wooden paneling. Uh, let's just do that. Like those. That guy, almost there. Oh, hey, extrude long novels. Right. Cool. All right, we can do we can do stuff in the texturing. I wonder if uh, that might sort of get like a little bit tricky because mm. like so when you're texturing this you've got to kind of select all these little bits here to assign different materials to it whereas if I did it like let's like undo this undo 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 how many undo's have I got let's find out Cool, sweet. Um, what I'm thinking is, is let's just make these like this. Oh, uh, right click, set origin to center of mass. Yeah, and just make these bits separate and I think this is going to be like way easier so I'm just sort of thinking a couple of steps forward where it's that could be you know kind of complicated and let's not get too complicated <laughs> D. Uh, it's going to go in here and check where that other edge loop is cool kind of got that exactly right there amazing uh let's go shift d escape you know what let's undo that 
let's go delete uh, let's delete that one too let's go alt D these are all gonna be like wooden pieces Let me get that cool and then alt D alt D escape let's rotate This guy over here. We don't want that piece. Sits in there like that, maybe. Guess try and line this up. Uh, alt D escape alt D escape Move across try and get it sort of in the middle go cool. that'd be good and then we could even just with this here just do like a new texture uh, make it just a you know brown brown wood amazing we're amazing texture artists now <laughs> all right so a piece like that and last one let's just do up this uh, uh, do up this archway All right. Uh, make our make our plane bigger. Let's got this thing sitting here. Yeah, it's cool how quick you can make all these little components, though. Zip. All right. Uh, let me show you like what I'm going to do, right? Just so you can kind of see it. Like, let's grab. Let's just make this guy let's just grab this guy and go control j and let's copy and um instead of him being cube let's call him <laughs> we can call it um you know building no m m building building zero one All right let's copy that let's go back to the other this other guy to other scene uh oh uh oh <laughs> <coughs> let's not do it in cycles and then let's like throw this into here into this scene let's paste this guy, so we've got this this in here. Like he can be sitting anywhere really. Let's put him over there. Just so we can see what's kind of got going on. We've got our M building there. Mm, now we need to oh, Yeah, we've got this pain in the butt thing. Um <laughs> need to put all this other stuff in collections. So that it's not out of control. Um let's call it Let's call it AM building. <laughs> so it's up here. So I can drag this out easily. I'm sure there's a better way of doing this anyway. Does not matter. So let's put it in our uh, collection. Voila. And you can see here, we got all these buildings. Yay. So like that's what I'll kind of want to do. And, and we're going to add all of these components into here and then kind of, yeah. And then muck around with some stuff. So with, with them. Yeah, I mean, go back into camera. Yeah, it's going to look like garbage <laughs> because they have no textures on them. Well, they do. They're just colors. They'll probably look all right because they're kind of small. But it might even be good just to check this out because it's like, yeah, how much detail do I kind of need? And you know how big do we want those to be and stuff as well. So, yeah. 
Because I think even here they kind of need to be a bit smaller. I want them to to match the scale. Because we're going to have to be careful of those palm trees and stuff as well. Because they're sort of like because I turned up the scale kind of you know randomness tab. So we just need to pull those down a bit. But you get the idea. So that's what we're going to do with it, right? So so it makes it it's really, it makes really good sense to get everything right. You know in in um, that kind of other scene, right? And then you can yeah muck around with these. Let's just do a save as. Save as. Let's call that number eight. Yeah. Yes. Nathan's advising me don't do any big crazy render stuff because it will freeze the stream. <laughs> yeah, try not to. That's why we'll turn that off and we'll go back to doing the other stuff and then we'll just do some render stuff at the end. Um, all right. Where are we going? We need to go back to the other scene and let's just get these little guys. So, um, shop blender. All right. Oh yeah, archway. Sorry, I sidetracked myself from doing the archway, didn't I? All right. Um, shift right click, shift A, mesh cube, S, S. Uh, let's make it skinnier and not, probably not that tall. <laughs> let's just go to tab. Click on this, just a bit of easier way. This one. Whoa, don't do it like that. Excuse me. Go along the green, please. All right, let's tab, let's move this up. Just knock it off that white there. All right, let's just hide this plane for a sec. Um, tab. Let's go in here. Let's see what we can do. Try and get some of these light archway guys going. So let's go. Uh, I'm gonna do. Um, let's do this kind of like a budget away. Uh, control R. Let's add a few subdivisions in here. Escape. We may need to subdivide this more. We'll see. Um, three on the keyboard. I can select faces. Nope. Let's have two gap. Two. And. Da, da, da. Sorry, let's try and work out. Get it even. Oh, accept that. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's go E. Let's not do it like that. I think that's kind of fine. All right, let's just bring this kind of side on. And let's turn x ray mode on. So we've got that setup going. And then we just want to. Grab these guys, grab that, and just do a bit of that. Amazing. <laughs> but that, you know, I think that'll do. Hmm. 
So that's on. Yeah, I did select both those, so it's alright. We're all good. Haven't broken anything just yet. Let's try and get some archways going on. Probably do like a Lean something or other, or <laughs> other ways to do this. Anyway, uh. don't matter as long as you can get what you want. It's all good. All right, sweet. So that's that. Let's do tabs going here. Turn X-ray mode off. Uh, control R. Uh, just wanna just split up. Do I? No, actually. Uh, yeah, maybe. Let's just do that and do Control R uh, because I'm thinking that I might wanna do this for texturing purposes, potentially. All right, let's grab this guy. Grab one of these guys. Shift D. Escape. Don't know what happened to that one there anyway. Let's reset that little origin point. That's that's Slightly shrink that down a touch, move it across. Oh, <laughs> let's be evens. Oh, oh, can't see stuff. Slipping around. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's grab these bits. This one. Shift D. Escape. Move you across. Similar process. Everything. Try and get that as even as possible. That is not very even. There we go. Uh, Alt D, escape. I think I did shifty on that other one anyway. Oh, that's going to be annoying. <laughs> but we can we can fix these after. Alt D, escape. I don't mind these sort of overlapping a touch. Yeah, making castles. <laughs> Dreams. Oops, hang on. Undo. Let's 
try and get these sort of like close to being even. Close. Pretty close. <laughs> All right. Go. Cool. Yeah. All right. I think um I think that's pretty good. And I just wanted like a little chimney part that I can throw around in some areas and that'll do for all of this. So let's work on that. Shift D, escape. Oops, um, tab, tab, P, buy loose parts, tab. All right, cause I just, I combined that one. So I just want to get rid of all those bits and Alt H, oh no, I don't want to do that. That's going to bring up everything. I just want that plane. Just wanted to bring that in the ground plane there. Um, all right. Uh, let's just go this way. Do it like this. Oops. Three. Oop. Oop. Yep. Move. <laughs> Move. And shrink. Uh, select that one and move you where there yep let's go hit three s oh. so that sits e s oh well no in you go <laughs> s A. A. F. <laughs> e S E S E F. E S. Oh, da, there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Chimney. <laughs> Done. Up to. All right. And kind of rotate that around and fit that into place. All right. Um, I reckon I've got some sort of roof tile here that I can add on. Save this. <clears throat> Let's put this in a collection as well. Uh, let just hide that plane because that one's easy to find. And Let's grab you and shift. Grab you. No, I don't want you in there. Um, right click, move to collection, uh, new collection, M. Buildings. Okay. All right, now what's good about that is you can just hide, you know. Right now, I've got then I don't have eighteen hundred thousand layers, which I've got another one. Just got to be careful though. There is some shortcut that I've that I've done where I duplicate something like ten thousand times, <laughs> literally ten thousand, not any more, any less, ten thousand. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's a special talent that I have. Anyway, you got to watch out for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, this sort of helps you kind of yeah work out the layers. There's a couple of light yeah, I've put camera lights. No, anyway, whatever. Um, all all good. Um, all right, what do I want to do? We'll just quickly, quickly um, texture up these bits, I think, because then, yeah, then we can start putting them in the scene, which should be pretty cool. So, yeah, let's go through this. Um, um, do, 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 do. All right. Um, Stuff folder. 
Uh, what are we? Twitch. Um, do, 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 do. Textures. Textures. Right. We've got some textures here. Do we want to have. Hmm. Do I want it to be different stone or the same stone? Mm. Mm. I'm gonna just. I think that some of this stone work was looking a bit dark, wasn't it? So let's maybe go back into Photoshop and textures. Open with hmm. It's going to do like a curves adjustment layer on here. It's not that. Maybe it's like yeah. Let's go. Let's just save that. Um, all right, and let's go back into Blender. Once I get this right, it'll be this will sort of translate over everything pretty well. Let's go into here. No, what do I do? Uh, material shade editor. All right, textures. This one. Yeah, let's grab this guy in here. We so just drop it in from the from the folder, plug it into the base color, and voila, because I duplicated all the stuff. <laughs> done texturing, done. <laughs> Nothing else required. Yeah. Mm, all right. <laughs> let's go to this one. Select all of it. Um, let's go to UV Editor. UV editor. Um, what do I do? Let's go um, U, hit U, and go Q projection. And that should just kind of like settle everything down a bit, which is pretty good. Yeah, I think that's cool. And maybe this sticky out a bit. Need to be something different, don't they? Potentially. Bring that more plane. Maybe they don't. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know. Anyway, moving along just for now. Let's bring go to this one. Let's go shader editor and go into our textures folder and I've got that roof. And let's just use that one. Right. Uh, let's go tab. Click on this. Hit L U Q production. All right. Cool. Right, like that. That looks good. This like the main roof part. <laughs> Better than this guy. <laughs> right. So then we just need to we just go through onto this one and L. That's really cool because you can see it's applying to all of them. Um, hit UQ projection. There we go. Okay. We, we, I mean, we've got some slight little scale issues, but like it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So obviously didn't Alt D some of these guys. <laughs> so let's work out the ones that I didn't. <laughs> All right. So I just want to make sure that like I get one right. Otherwise, it'll be here. All day. Um, what I might do here is show you how to assign some different uh, materials to stuff. Um, so let's hit L and go U and Q projection. Um, I'm just going to fix up that, but let's go into the, you know, because like the scale is getting like really wackety whack, right? Because there's really small stones on here. But if we um, hit L, um, go into the UV editor. Yes, sir. and we can A 
and then as scale this down and then it's going to make those stones bigger until our heart is content <laughs> right so that's pretty cool and then what we could do is let's just go like this and hit tab uh, three on the keyboard so we're selecting this back face and then let's make a new material a uh, new material new on that um, and let's just call it um, window <laughs> even though it's like hole window window hole <laughs> and let's just make it pretty dark now in the other ones I know that like um I know that like black was kind of a bit too much so maybe I'll just make it like not exactly black or something like that and then what I do is click assign and that will just assign that material to those like to those, that face so that's pretty cool so then if I click out of here we've got there we go your little darker hole there so that works better right so yeah that's pretty cool we can go up to these rooftops tab uh, let's go L and UV editor A select it all scale boop, until they're at least kind of similar yay be cool yeah and this is super fast you get an awesome result right very cool so what I want to do is I want to make sure these are right so then I can just duplicate these around and do that to everything so once again let's go up into this roof here and sort of split up some of these parts so let's go tab and yeah and like I said it, it's cool to just spend a bit of time on here right because um, um yeah because when you do x-ray mode when you do get all this stuff working really well then we're gonna like duplicate it around everywhere right so that's good um let's just make this like that wood one so let's go new material and hmm, i think it's this one here and then we just go sign and then let's just tab out there yeah, yeah cool all right that's cool it's not on the top <laughs> tab But let's turn x-ray mode off just in case that's selecting other random stuff uh, yeah we've got the side bits that's cool so it's just material 7 assign yep so do you see how it did that so if you want to have more materials within inside like an edit mode object so you basically go new material right and if it's something you already created you just click it from the list down here right and then if it's something that you want to do a new thing you just click you click plus and then you hit new and you can make it whatever you want pink if you want to yellow whatever the case may be but that's super cool because you can so it means you can model in edit mode and kind of yeah still texture stuff differently which is awesome um why are you going why are you doing that okay let's just select these guys turn x-ray mode on don't forget that oh god turn that on <laughs> and then we want this to be the 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 other one which one is it how about i name these <laughs> uh, uh. material 005 uh let's call this hustle and i've probably already got it in there because i did it on those other ones anyway the castle wall <laughs> all right then at least i know what i'm doing tab all right tab x-ray modes on good uh new material castle wall assign and then like just get the scale right you know so uv editor um, so we might have to go like u q projection uh uh, uh and you can oh god mm. no undo well that's kind of okay that's the same as the other one it's all right we're good here so anyway i know there's a way to get that to show up in the editor like that but it's working because <laughs> we got the scale right on the other so yeah that's a good it's coming across okay so yeah cool so kind of like you know UV that in there so it might be good to kind of break these other ones 
up. Um, but I don't know what. <laughs> um, unless they're just kind of like a really different kind of scale. That might work, maybe? I don't know. Am I? Am I? Yeah, it's wasting time. Probably. Um, let's. I'm just going to see how that looks. And if I need to change it later, oh, we'll change it. So what I'm going to do is because you know, see these ones didn't come across. I didn't like Alt D them because I don't know because it was silly. Um, Shift Alt D Escape. And we want to move you across. And we want to put you up there. And we want to delete, delete, delete. Uh, come on, M, X, yeah, X O. So I just mirrored them. Sometimes it'd be easier than rotating around. Sometimes not. <laughs> All right, let's delete this guy. Alt D, D, Escape, Rotate. Ninety, ninety ish, ish. Get up with this in the middle too. <laughs> yeah. Oh come on! I know you're All right. Make sure we can't see that roof there. See the roof. <laughs> All right. So something like that, there we go. All right, um, let's do Shift D, Escape, and then Command N, and X, and then move it, and then delete that guy. And then put you back in there. <laughs> Oops. We didn't do that very well. We didn't do a very good job of that, did we? What did we do? 180. 181, no, 180. Alright, cool. There we go, now those are like working pretty quick. Sweet. Okay. Um. Now, okay, so now I've got a bit of a problem. I need to go find a wood texture really quick. So let's go wood, wood texture. Our old friend Google. <laughs> uh, we want to do uh, images. So I'll show you guys the, the power of Google. <laughs> um, do, tools, size, large. What, what, what wood texture is it? Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, let's just go open image in new tab and grab that guy and copy. And well, I won't do that just in case something went pear shaped. Um, let's go into Photoshop, draw N, draw V. And what I'm going to do is like, I just want to sort of change the color of this a little bit. Um, let's go control U, sort of like super intense. Yeah, something like that. We'll see how that's going to work. And then. Uh, yeah, I think that scales. Let, let's try. Let's just save this uh, textures uh, JPEG. All right. So, say, hey, do a quick 
a quick uh, quick dirty texture <laughs> all right and let's go back into blender back into here and da -da 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 -da. before we do that i want to go tab um l u q projection all right just to get that scale right on that guy all right so we just need to fix all those and then da -da 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 -da. yeah so basically what i want to do now is we want to we want to do this one here so this is a little bit trickier but we can we can do this as well so just hold alt select those guys all right so and then what we want to do is we want to go into the shader editor and we want to add a new material so this is that that you know like next technique that i was kind of showing you guys so we go new instead of selecting one from the drop down menu there so we get new we go back to our um textures and then we just throw that one into here and we click it into there and then we just go assign <laughs> and then we have to hit u and q projection and yeah done uh, yeah so that's what i was sort of thinking a bit of a break up in in shape there uh maybe we just need like a little bordery a bordery bit need some some borders uh like this like these guys like these guys shift d escape let's move you over here Uh, and oh, sorry, guys. Um, let's move that over here in this way so we get it in the middle, makes doing that scale a bit easier. So it goes in here and I don't know, maybe this one's like a grey. Tiny bit moved across. Oh. Oh, in blender there's probably some shortcut to like center all of this stuff and everything that is awesome like all these all these little shortcut ways of doing stuff it's very cool you just gotta you just gotta work them all out <laughs> which can take some time but like you know just just practice just practice with it yeah let's do this one. Uh, I'm just going to make sure I unlink this first, right? Uh, so unlink, right? And then I'm just going to change this to more of a gray. Yeah, just some different. Cool. All right, <laughs> gonna fix these other bits. Uh, yep, these are easy because we just get them from over there, right? <laughs> Uh, tab. Uh, oh, did I? Yes, this one's all apart. Is it, is it? Sorry, this one's all joined together, right? So P by loose parts. There we go. Now we can tab, and now we've got all these pieces separate. Probably a bit too much in this regard, but um, we'll just do this one first. So tab. Um, hit L. L. Hang on. What we, what's going on? Help uh, you cube projection. Voila, easy game. Easy game. That stuff's pretty cool. Uh, all right, get rid of this guy. Uh, Alt D escape. Move, <laughs> move, please. Move. First of all, get him. In the center, 
push it back as far as I can until the roof. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> All right, and then just mm, delete and shift. shift uh, no, Alt D, Alt D, Escape, Command M, X. I think that's right. Hopefully, we'll soon find out. Did I do it right? Yeah, I did. Oh. Too far. Too far. Too far. Too far. Perfect. <laughs> Okay. All right. Hmm. You get there. So I'm thinking with this here. A little bit painful. A little bit painful. Not that bad because, like, I probably don't need to select all those little top faces and stuff. Just need to get in, get these side guys. Sorry, I'll show what I'm doing in a sec. <laughs> just going to change up these colors just a little bit. Because I think that'll, I think it will look a little bit nicer if it's got a bit of a contrast there. So um, let's just do new material, new material, new. Just really simple. It's dark and grey sign. Something like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's fine. Yeah, I think that works. Okay. Let's do that over here as well. So um do 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 sort of select all of these bits here. Alright. Um, let's go tab L U Q projection. Get that kind of looking right. Cool. That, that's done. Uh, let's just go front on here. Let's do X ray mode and um, select that. Select that and turn X ray mode off. Yep. These guys. These guys. I feel my nose getting closer to the screen. <laughs> Just zoom in. That'll stop that. <laughs> I always find myself doing that. It's like working, and I'm like, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, you can zoom in. <laughs> Don't have to get my eyes close to the screen. Just bring the screen. Closer to me. Amazing. Technology at its best. Right. <laughs> I need to get some sleep. Clearly. Uh, new material, and I guess it was just that. I guess it's the last one we did here. Eight? No. No. Hang on. How do we? That one? That's on. Yes. Cool. That is that. Um. Hmm. Let's see what else we want to do here. All right. So let's make that one. Material nine as well. Material nine. Okay, that's cool. Um, in my Photoshop guide, a little cheat sheet for what I was doing. Oops, that's the wrong one. Don't got that one just yet. I'll do that in a second. Um, all right, let's add some. What do, I do here. Mm. I think I might just go uh, D, escape. Just put a little top on this piece, I think. Let's like right click and fix that origin. All right. Let's 
let's move down, 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 down. It's tiny bit over the edge there. Let's make sure it's kind of even, close, close to being even. Cool. I think that's just a little bare kind of break up and I wanted to add that uh, wooden texture on here as well. Um, tab. Oh now did I did I call this wood texture? Alright. Wood wood panel. Two or six was that one. What's that one there, isn't it? Alright. Tab tab. Alt, select all those. Um, new material, make sure you click plus and don't just go straight down, otherwise it will change the whole thing. And wood, wood panel, that's fine. And then, go to remember, fix the scale, U, Q projection, done. Yeah, cool. All right, just that little bit of um, breakup helps, doesn't it? Escape. Too far. I guess something's right. I can hide those little top bits. Anyway, never going to say whatever. Still want to hide them. <laughs> Too much stuff in the way. And you know, you could hide those things as well, just so you can see a little bit better. Go. Cool. Alright, getting pretty close here. This thing's texturing a little bit more time to go. Oh, right to here. Why are you up there? Moved you. Moved you up there for some reason. Don't know why. Just did. <laughs> Select those guys. Shift click here. Link materials. Thank you. Uh, Alright, what else do we want to do here? Um, I'm going to fix this. <laughs> and probably, uh, this is not, I don't think this is like the cube project. You cube projection. Yeah, there we go. Uh, scale, tab, tab, L, U. It's just all these little shortcuts. Yeah, it's cool. It's like super fast, right? It's great. Um, select that guy. Select that one. Control L. Link the materials. All right, that makes sense to me. All right, let's bring up this one here. Put this like other wall. Sorry, wood texture. Sorry. Uh, tab. Oh, what am I tabbing into? Don't know. <laughs> this one. Here. This one here, please. Um, yeah. So it's that. Um, X-ray mode. Q, select all of this new material. It's the one down the bottom. Wood panel. Don't forget to click assign. And then last bit, U, Q projection. Then they'll fix that scale for you. Maybe? Oh, no, hang it. U, Q projection. Uh, okay. So if I just go to UV editor. Uh, I think if I change this to the wood texture, yes, and then go A and then S because it's like inside the thing, so it's yeah, 
freaking out. We're freaking out a little bit. But we're okay. Um, you can go like S, S, uh, Y. Yeah, and sort of like do that. S. Oh, cool. That will do it like that. All right, that's cool. Anyway, yeah, sweet. I thought that might kind of go crazy outside the edge, but it just, it just sort of, um, you know, keeps expanding on the texture. That's awesome. Cool. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, let's do the same on this one here. This little guy. Tab. X. like that so I might need to put in an edge loop here uh, control bar there we go select this um, three <laughs> all right new material new material you go down here wood wood panel assign uh, you Cube projection A, so that will select all of it in here. And hit S, and then scale until you are satisfied with the result. <laughs> okay, all I got to do now is the is this guy here is the chimney. Uh, I wanted some of these bits here. D. You know, and you can texture up all these bits and stuff as well, right? But I just think you know, we're pretty small, so maybe there's no need. But we'll, I will see. You know, maybe there'll become a time well that when that will be necessary. But we'll. Worry about that when we get to it. Yeah, I want to get into like sort of throwing this in to the blender. Give that a second. Quickly. All right. That's fine. All right. Shift. No, or D, escape. Yeah, so like I said, you know, you can texture up all these little bits as well, right, if you kind of want to. Um, something there. All right, let's get tab L, U, Q projection. Uh, let's go in here, not X-ray, turn that off, go control, R, uh, throw in these extra little edge loops here uh, three bolts near that edge there there we go uh, new material uh, same thing du -du 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 -du. panel assign new uh, cube projection all right that one worked pretty good straight away That'll do. sweet um, do, 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 do. what I want to do here? Let's just break this up a little bit more. Um, let's make this top guy not stone. Oh well, yeah, we could even shift T escape. Sorry, just. <laughs> extra details that you know could argue not required <laughs> uh, just want to break that up I touch and oh sort of being painful um, 
x-ray mode just like that and let's just go new material just new quick 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 oh maybe it's not there let's get somewhere assign done uh, probably do I even need that just doesn't look that good there <laughs> Like do it there. Still doesn't look like it. Maybe it just can't go on that angled bit. <laughs> oh boy. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's better. I could do it up on this other one as well, but whatever. Okay. That's done. Let's just call that done, right? For now. Whew, save. So we've been like, yeah, an hour and an hour and thirty minutes or so. Make up all our little pieces there. I mean, really, it's pretty quick. Um, all right. So let's just work on kind of getting these so they're useful. So let's hide that plane. Um, so let's grab grab this guy and control J. That. Oh. <laughs> that scale all oh, select all those control J. There we go. Alright, select all these guys. I don't know. What's that? What is that there? What are you? Is that a light? I knew there was a weird light there. <laughs> Alright. Uh select U control J. All right, and sometimes you just need to do a bit of this. Control J. Oh, selecting something else. That light. Stop it. I need you there. You can go up there. No. Oh. There we go. Control J. Nope, something's still in there. Ah. Really? Oh, I see. <laughs> Oops. Uh oh. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Hopefully, I didn't do that like a million times. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> That was a bit of a fail, wasn't it? All right. Uh, um, Alt D, escape. Yeah. Control M Y. Uh, sigh. Uh, Alt D, escape. Uh, rotate uh, 90 sweet so we go over here Hold D Hard to see on there, isn't it? Where they're kind of lined up. That was a bit closer to the edge of the roof. Right. Shift Alt D. Um, 
control M X. Okay, move you guys. Tap. <laughs> All right. Let's try and get these things out of out of there. What? Sun. All right. Camera. Camera somewhere else. I don't know where I put it now. We don't need it anyway. Get out of here. Because then what I can do is like we can we can deselect them from in here. So, all right, shift. No, we want it like alt. What am I doing? Let's go alt. Is that still selecting it? It is. Let's just hide it <laughs> for a second. Man, this one's being painful, isn't it? Ugh. All right, control J. No, what else have we got? What's going on? Hmm. I don't know what I did. Uh, let's just go. Let's just do. <laughs> just yeah. <laughs> if you have a trouble, trouble just you can just add the bits. Gotcha. Got you into one thing. Good, finally. <laughs> Drop J. Oops. Yeah, sunlight. Let's turn that sunlight back on and let's get this guy. Ah, oh, it's being weird, isn't it? Anyway. Uh. Is it the sun? Is that what's that was? Yeah. Oh, oh. This is like in a plane or something. I don't know what's doing. Oh, it's because I didn't click on that first, right? Yeah, I get it. Because I'm, yeah, 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 right. Fine. Be like that. <laughs> so, like, it's because I was clicked on something else and then I just did like a shift select. And so it's trying to merge it with like the other bit. Um, yeah, anyway. Rookie. Rookie mistake. But we got there. We're okay. No, not too much of a drama. Find all that. All right. So how about it? Let's start kind of yeah throwing some of this stuff in, um, and seeing seeing kind of where we get to. So look at the tool. Let's add it in this one. Um, back here. Copy this guy into here. Now, what I'm going to do first is just kind of get the scale right in the first place. It's going to randomize. We might have to kind of mug around with that and just make sure that it's working a bit better. But 
Let's try and get that. Um, control A and all transforms. Ah, uh, no, undo. Edit, undo. Edit. Edit, undo. <laughs> um, control A. Um, scale. So then that was kind of set this scale, right? and that should set the item scale to one. There we go. So that should kind of mean that means that it's that scale. So let's delete this guy here. Let's go into our collection and oh yeah, so that deleted it straight out of the collection, right? So that's cool. So we're gonna have these guys sitting off somewhere else. Anyway, we can we can do that, but let's add this one here. Go back to here. Da, 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 da. This. And this is, you know, it's really cool putting all these things in. Happens really quickly. But obviously, you know, it took a little while just to get this stuff set up. So this guy I want to be like a bit smaller than that one in general. So he's like, just sorry, just trying to move him. Move them in there, right? So we it's just a little bit smaller. Doesn't have to be sitting on the ground anyway, it'll be fine. Uh control A scale. Right? Reset it to one. So that basically means you know how I was putting in before they were getting kind of big. So yeah. But they will they will uh randomly scale just because we've got that setting in the particle system but you can kind of change that and stuff so very very cool all right so we got that let's um i'm going to keep the chimneys kind of separate i'll just add them in like manually um and let's add in like some of these pieces here so control c get back to the other one this one control v oh don't do that I do. You. We want you. And we want to put you into here. Yay. Alright. So once again, let's just. Oh, don't move. Don't move it under the water. <laughs> let's put it over here. <laughs> Watch out for all the trees. Alright. Just like sort of a wooden wall piece. Let's get back. Back to here, select this one. The arches I might kind of like arrange differently. So put these this one in. one in here oh hang on oh uh, yeah let's just paste that one okay is in there let's go I didn't think I yeah I didn't reset the scale see see how the scale settings are all different so we want to change that so control a scale and then they'll go back to one right so then they'll all sort of relate to each other which is excellent <laughs> can't see In the ground, here's yeah, this one. This one's fine. So, control A, scale. All right now, these are all called what are they called? <laughs> They're not called anything, they're just called the cubes. Let's now, what did I want to change? I needed to put them up here. So, A, <laughs> A, um, A, M, house. House zero one copy yes all right a m house two uh, a m whoa one
Okay. Uh, let's set these. So let's select all these and just put them in. Um, Sorry, <laughs> let's make these like a collection. Uh, oops, move to collection, new collection, uh, M buildings. Zero, one. Okay, okay, we've got these here, and then what we do is I want to like duplicate this. Um, duplicate collection. Sweet. All right. So um, that's all right. We'll just move them from this one here. So that should work. So here we go. Let's try this. Let's put this one in there, and let's remove the cube. Oh, I'll just delete that. Delete. That'll get rid of all those cubes. Um. And put this one in. And put this one in. Sweet. So now we've got um, we've got all these elements in here, and you can see what it did is that it like it um, it's put less of them in there because it's going like oh the the particle system is only spreading out like you know a thousand of them right. So then it split the thousand by all of those things right so we need to kind of like adjust those settings so if i click on here all right then we can go back into this whole nutshell <laughs> and we can start messing around so you know let's try 2000 and see what happens and you know just start seeing how how dense things are yeah, and you can see that. Whoop, I'll show you what we're, we're going to do. Um, we want to, with the scale, right? Scale randomness. We want to tone this down. Right. If I put it to zero, it's just not going to be random at all. Um, and we need to get them kind of coming out of the ground. <laughs> Um, should we change this to one? No. <laughs> uh, let's undo that. All right. Um, these guys here. Now I don't, I don't know. I'm not always entirely sure how this works. Whether I can do this in here or um, I've got another idea that I'll try first. That's probably like the most easiest thing to do which is like grabbing this, right, and just moving that up. No, that doesn't make a difference. Okay, thought that might change that. Okay, we've got to work out how do we get these out of the ground. <laughs> um, emission, hair length. Um, Let's go to here. Oh, I don't know how to fix this without Googling. What does that do? I don't know. Oh. Okay, I get it. Uh oh, I'm going to change it back. Global influence of current modifications on your group. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Undo. Please don't crash. Blender. Edit. Undo. Edit. Undo. Edit. Undo. Yeah. One. Okay. <laughs> it's cool apart from yeah we just need to get them to go out of the ground oh no how do we do that I know we can 
Oops. Not even in Blender anymore. That's how you fix it. Just hide Blender. <laughs> um, da -da 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 -da. Global coordinates, object scale. Global. They get some off the ground. Well, you know what I mean. In the ground, but not. <laughs> yeah. But now palm trees are over there. Oh, okay, I see. Is it all collection? No. Object scale. I was also going to show you like so phase that's kind of cool because you can you can it might be in the height of stuff hanging on we'll check that in a minute but phase is really cool because you can you can make stuff well not that way <laughs> lower the p ah oh, yes 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 good yeah mm. yes yeah, lower the pivot point of these things. Yeah, I know. Good. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> All right. Um, and orientation, rotation. How do we random? No. Global. Why? No. Global. See, no, I guess so. It needs to be object. Okay. Oh, don't do that. Nope. No. No. None. Oh, no. Well, that's not going to work. <laughs> you can rotate these guys around. Hang on. We can get this. Surely. That's not going to work. No one, let's spin the other way. Yeah, but now they're not upright. Yes, I know that this happens, and then we need to rotate all of these things. <laughs> Uh, this is what it needs to be, right? <laughs> Except all of these, these original objects, we need to rotate them around, right? <laughs> so, if, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm confusing you. Why do I have a duplicate there? I don't know what I did. What happens if I delete that one? Still there, right? Okay, so can I rotate this around? 90 degrees. Yeah, we'll work this out. I promise next week I'll I'll have this sorted for you. But basically you can make the building so they rotate around, right? So they're not all just square on. Go back. All right, that's better. Anyway, to an extent. All right, then let's try and sort this out. These, sorry, this gets a bit tricky on that. Let's sort out this. So, do, 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 do. Um, if I go Shift, right click, and then we go Set origin origin to 3d cursor now that should fix those guys i think all right now let's go back to the other building because that's the one that's halfway through the ground so let's go back to this one oh hang on 
Now I don't know which is the one that's in the collection. <laughs> that one. Alright, this one. Where are you? Uh, where are you? You just a random in here, maybe? Whatever, anyway. Uh, so shift, right click to the bottom of the building, right? And then right click, set origin to three cursor. And let's go back here and hopefully these are, yay, they're out of the ground. <laughs> they're in there, you can see them. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so we just need to do that to all those elements. So shift, shift, right click, set origin to 3D cursor, shift, right click, set origin to 3D cursor. Sometimes you just got to be like careful, you know, like it's probably more like right click, set origin to 3D cursor. Oh, that's the wrong building. <laughs> Shift. Right click, set origin, 3D cursor. This one. Uh, Shift, right click, set origin to 3D cursor. And that should be all of those guys now. So now if we look back here. Yay! They are starting to work a little bit better. Um, cool. All right, let's go back here. What do we got? We've got the scale, scale. Now, what happened if I clicked one? That did that. All right. So yeah, it's kind of scaling them differently. Zero point four, but that's okay. The other thing that we can kind of do is we can um, you can add like multiple multiple particle systems right so you can kind of like control um you can control the amount of things that you want to kind of add in as well which is which is very cool um yeah and kind of lay these things up but this is starting to look pretty cool like just in terms of getting you know a bit more of like a city feeling right so yeah you kind of we need to work on those things but looking pretty cool so once again we can, there'll be come sort of like a, a time where you can start messing around with these individual elements as well. Let's grab some of these archways. And go back into here. Where are you going to paste? Over there. So origin to center. Yeah, and just start, you know, playing with and controlling some of these elements here. Got that cube in the way. <laughs> Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Don't make sure it's not in the tree. Make sure it's all in the ground. Uh, local, change that to local. Then it will sort of move along. Just snap back into that one. That's cool. Make sure it's all fitting into the ground oops just trying to do alt D as much as possible Well, that's like in the collection, so I don't want to do that. Uh, delete you. Uh, we want to. Do, 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 do.
Oh, are these like inside of that one? Put these one out of there. Cool. And then <laughs> Okay, now yeah, where are these guys? Alright, I get it. So these ones here. These are ones I would I want to use. So this is got all D. And just start kind of like hand putting some of these around right where you kind of want them. So I want that kind of like this tower bit. So here, let's grab this one. Alt, Alt D. You know, and then you can muck around with this sort of stuff as much as you like. Hmm. So, like getting into those particle system stuff, you know, gets a bit more complicated, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, and just start, you know what I mean? Kind of getting all these things to just work a little bit better, right? You can go through and do all that. But the, the particle system is really, you know, making it sort of giving you a pretty good head start on things. Probably have to, I'm going to go back to those. I don't know where that original palm tree is. Palm, yeah, oh, these guys. This guy, this guy, all right, shift, shift, right click, right click, set origin to 3D cursor. And this guy, shift, shift, right click, right click, set origin to 3D cursor. All right, that's going to fix up those trees as well. <laughs> so they don't go all over the shop. All right, so we worked out some of those things. We've got trees, we've got buildings. You know, the only other thing I wanted to do was like to to like randomize the you know twist the buildings a bit so they're sort of like not all just like ninety degrees to each other, which we can do. Just have to remember how to control that bit on the side. You know, I have to to Google some stuff. Sure, I thought that if I rotated these, maybe I was just not choosing the right one. Oh, maybe I was choosing that duplicate right. So. Yeah. So let's see what happens if I do something like that. It's not changing. Mm. Anyway, I'll work it out. <laughs> I will work it out. But yeah, basically anyway, we're pretty much done for today. Um, yeah, but let's have a look back through the camera and then we've got some buildings in the water, <laughs> but you know, aside from that, <laughs> let's just do a bit of a render, hey, render, see how those buildings and things are starting to look. Hopefully this won't freeze a stream or whatever. It's not like, it's not too crazy. But yeah, so basically like I'm kind of wanting to do a bit more of that in the scene, which is just, yeah, remember I've got to work on those sc the, the scale of some of those textures. All right, getting this, this front element 
probably really pushing the design of that because we still I was like oh it's gonna be really small so I wouldn't be able to see the details but we definitely can um, so yeah but these um you know those buildings in the palm trees are looking pretty cool we could do that on like it doesn't just have to be there's only one particle system on that one piece right so you can have particle systems on on all of these pieces of land um, you know rotating around these these are uh, you know bigger bigger parts that are kind of like in there and it might also be good for like it kind of gives you a good idea for like the scale of the windows in these other you know they're probably like a bit big and stuff so we can probably like tone them back um yeah but i think like as this is you know i'm setting this up to do quite a lot of cycles in the rendering and i think as this renders through um yeah those buildings are going to start looking pretty cool and then you can yeah definitely sort of be playing around with you know weren't really um weren't really sort of doing anything to camera where you know probably even this bit back here would be good if it was that was attached to this bit here right so it's sort of um a bit closer to the camera and things and sort of seeing what's going on in there but you can see that those you know those buildings and stuff are really small <laughs> so yeah you get a few details you know in here and stuff as they kind of come forward but um but yeah that's that's gonna look really cool like just lots of you know windows and buildings and rooftops and we could probably play around with a bit of the lighting and stuff there as well um to make that even kind of yeah just read even better but yeah I think that's pretty much it for today for today's stream so let's come along next week we'll yeah it's probably like the next couple of weeks it'll start building up like a lot quicker because we've got all these pieces now so now it's sort of, now it's just a matter of like kind of putting them all into the scene and you know jigsawing them all to all together so yeah all right guys well uh yeah thanks for tuning into the stream and uh we will see you next week all right thanks guys